Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Maria with Massage Therapy Solutions. Today I wanted to talk about a condition that I've been hearing a lot about lately and I wanted to put together a quick summary of the causes, treatments and natural remedies for a condition that's called vertigo. It's basically a sensation of spinning and dizziness. It can be very uncomfortable and it can definitely um, stop you from doing your um, daily activities. Some people end up not being able to drive, not being able to go to work, and not being able to really function and get out of bed even. So let's talk about the symptoms of vertigo. Other than spinning and dizziness, some people experience anything from nausea to abnormal eye movements, headaches, sweating, ear ringing, double vision, lack of coordination, basically anything that's related to balance and um, related to your vision and hearing. What are the causes for that condition? Well, let's say the most common one would be a buildup of deposits in the inner ear. So basically your, um, your inner ear that's responsible for a sense of body's balance um, kind of gets thrown off and the resetting those crystals in the ear can be helpful. So that is something that you can do we find a, um, a healthcare professional, either a chiropractor, a, pers a physical therapist, or ENT, they can help you do a specific maneuver to reset those. Other conditions that may cause vertigo include cold virus. So, so something as simple as common cold can cause ear inflammation and basically throw you off balance and uh, Something simple you can do for that is basically over-the-counter anti-inflammatory anti-congestant. So I find that that is a really quick and simple way to treat this kind of vertigo. Head or neck injury, if someone had a um, head trauma or a car accident, any kind of impact to the neck or head, that could definitely, again, throw you off balance and for that specific vertigo. I would again recommend the chiropractic care or physical therapy just to make sure your vertebrae are in the proper alignment and your nerves are not under stress and your balance is not not off. Um, stroke, that's something that I didn't quite expect, but um, American Stroke Association apparently um, came up with the conclusion that someone experienced a stroke may have vertigo. So the feeling of dizziness and severe imbalance. A stroke will cause dizziness and imbalance rather than just one. A vestibular neuritis, that is something that's, um, that sounds a little more complicated, but it's basically inflammation of the inner ear. So when you're a nerve and your ear is inflamed, it's gonna cause your brain um, to kind of have a hard time figured out the balance and head positioning so you could feel that dizziness and imbalance. Meniere's disease is another condition and affects hearing in one ear. So basically, again, if you can only hear in one ear, you have tinnitus ringing in the ear, um, suffer hearing loss and um, feeling like you have water or fluid or fullness in your ear, that could also cause vertigo, cause imbalance, loss and even falls. Let's talk about some treatments for vertigo and some things that you can do on your own to basically help to ease that condition. Most of the time vertigo resolves without treatment as the brain can compensate for changes to the inner ear to restore someone's balance. If you are going to see a healthcare professional, if, if your vertigo doesn't ease up, you can go see the doctor and they're going to give you some anti-inflammatory and some water pills to basically reduce fluid buildup. But I am more interested in home remedies for vertigo. So let's see, one of the things that I have heard from my clients that have helped them is um, Ipley maneuver. So it's basically something that's recommended by chiropractors and physical therapists and something they perform pretty regularly. Um, your ear, nose, and throat specialists also train to do that so you can always go into their office and they will they will help you um, to assist you with that maneuver and basically will help to reset crystals in your ears that, that are responsible for balance. 
Uh, ginkgo biloba, I have not heard about that, but that's very interesting that this Chinese herb um, known for resolving the systems of vertigo. It works by managing blood flow to the brain to relieve dizziness and balance issues. That is great to know. Ginger tea. Ginger is such a powerful anti-inflammatory and just about any stomach condition, any sort of inflammation you can think of, ginger can help with. Um, Let's see, can help, ginger root can reduce the effects of vertigo better than manual repositioning, which is a play maneuver. Alone, drinking ginger tea twice a day may help dizziness, nausea, and other vertigo symptoms. Staying hydrated, that is definitely something that you want to do daily, regardless if you have vertigo or not. So, um, I know most doctors recommend 8 to 12 cups a day, which actually it needs to vary based on your weight so half of your body weight in ounces that's how much uh, fluids we should drink daily i'm not talking about coffee or beer alcohol or um, juices but water that actually hydrates you so hydration can cause symptoms of vertigo even mild dehydration can trigger the condition. Staying hydrated can help minimize dizziness and balance issues. Apple cider and honey. This is also new to me. Apple cider and honey are believed to have curative properties to relieve blood flow to the brain. Wow, that's... everyone can use that, not just people with vertigo. Two parts of honey and one part of cider can prevent and treat vertigo symptoms. Essential oils, we can't talk enough about essential oils. It's basically very, very powerful, um, powerful treatment for just about any neurological, muscular condition. Um, essential oils work great with your brain. It basically stimulates certain parts of the brain. And um, if you're talking about nausea, headache, dizziness, you can try oils like peppermint, ginger, lavender, and lemon essential oils. So I definitely believe that that can help you with some um, some vertigo symptoms. And um, let's see, is it time for you to see a doctor? Anyone who has reoccurrences of vertigo should see their doctor. For most people, vertigo is usually not harmful but the underlying causes need to be identified. So if you know that your vertigo is just caused by a common cold or if you someone who suffers allergies and get congestions all the time, if you know you have imbalance with your middle ear um, and you know, then you know what to do, then you know what treatments you need to use. But if you have not figured out what causes your vertigo, that's when you really need to go see a doctor and basically see ANT. You need to see allergists and figure it out if there's anything that causes your condition and come up with a plan to fix it. So you might be a candidate for prescribed medications and basically figure it out, um, what steps you should take to treat your vertigo if it reoccurs. I hope this was helpful. I found this great article in Medical News Today, and there's actually a reference to the doctor who reviewed the article. Um, please let me know if there are other topics that you'd like me to um, discuss. I um, would love for you to subscribe to my channel and leave some comments below, and I will cover some more interesting conditions that... Um, I see in my practice. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.